The Isle of Wight will welcome the Tour of Britain for the first time on Sunday the 11th of September when the 18th edition of the race finishes here on the Isle of Wight. The final stage of the Tour will be undoubtedly full of thrills, possibly a few spills, as some of the top riders from 20 professional cycling teams descend upon the island in a bid to take the overall winner's jersey. As you can see, the Isle of Wight boasts some of the best roads in the country with a backdrop of stunning coastal lines, rolling countryside and iconic landmarks. The last leg of the tour will be far from easy with the course snaking through most of the towns on the island before the riders hit the final challenge in ascent to the finish line. The White Link White Mountain race team, they're no strangers to riding the island's roads and they are fully aware of the challenge in awaiting the 120 professional cyclists who will be racing in what is their weekly training ground. The peloton roll out from Ride and the northeast coast of the island along the hilly terrain and pushing up some nasty kickers along the way. The perimeter of only 60 miles, the route will inevitably loop around the island, taking in the county town of Newport heading along on Sandown Seafront here. There's some beautiful views across the sea. And there's no doubt these roads will be absolutely packed with fans looking to check out the riders. Before they head up over Black Gang and snake down through towards the military road. As you can see here, the road picks up some real speeds and the riders, they'll be looking to pick up speeds of around 30 to 40 miles an hour as they snake down through towards the military road. They'll be passing the White Mouse Inn at Chow. And then they hit the longest stretch of road here on the island, which is the military road, 10 miles from Chow through to Freshwater Bay. Stunning coastal views here where you can, on a good summer's day, you can see right across to Bournemouth and the Purbrook Hills. That, that descent down from Black Gain Chine it can be super tricky, especially hitting that roundabout at super fast speeds. The military road though, it's a beautiful ride, but it can become really treacherous. As you get to the other end of the military road, as you head towards Freshwater, you can see we're going up over the first climb, which comes up off of Compton Bay. And the riders here, they'll be looking to get into a really good position within the peloton. This is where the race could potentially break up. You have to be really good with your positioning. Certainly within a pack of riders, riders will be looking to hide on a really windy day. It can be treacherous going along the military road, and especially up over this climb. As you approach the top, the legs could be really burning by now. The lactic acid building up. You'll certainly be feeling the burn in the legs that's for sure and as you sweep down the other side of this climb the wind can be really dangerous especially if it's coming up from the south as you can really get blown from one side of the road to another and there's no doubt that riders will be vying for positions within the peloton speeds they can really pick up as they descend down into the compton bay farm here as they sweep across quickly to the right and they'll be straight up over what will be the freshwater bay climb which is short and punchy it can last around three to four minutes but some strong riders the watches the power that they'll be putting through the pedals here can be monstrous and this is where the race winner will be looking to try and get away and get down these both these descents as quick as he possibly can the roads they're certainly exposed to the elements like i said they can be treacherous in the worst weather conditions. Strong winds will cause havoc. There is no doubt about that. And the final part of the ride is going to be really, really exciting. As you come down in the freshwater bay, it snakes across to the right and it can be quite tricky. There'd be a lot of riders there and it is really, really pinchy. Before they hit Moon's Hill, which is a super tough climb, and then another climb to finish the day. So it's definitely going to be a climber's race, this one. So the rider that can really climb well is going to have to climb super, super well. As you can see here, 
as they head towards the needles and work their way up towards the final finish line. Riders again, they're gonna to wanna to be near the front here as it starts quite steady the climb, but it kicks off to the left hand side, almost like a short scale electric track. And there'll be a sharp left hand and the riders will be digging in. As you can see the White Link White Mountain team here, they're all vying for positions on a training ride here but on a race day, this is gonna be super tough. Riders will be getting spat out the back here, as you can see, and the, only the strongest riders will be there at the very end. The, the Tour of Britain, without doubt, will be one of the most exciting and best cycling events that ever come to the Isle of Wight. And we, as a cycling team, are super excited to see some of the best riders come to the Isle of Wight.